We're looking at ways of finding data within our wealth of data in the vehicle and using that with this connectivity out to the cloud to provide best-in-class services to the customer to really get them the best driving experience they can get. We're able to bring more and more information onto the vehicle. As a result of that, we're able to reuse that information in domain areas we haven't otherwise been using it. So we could possibly detect uh, weather scenarios, we can detect altitude, and that can help us in developing features that will optimize the engine's operation and the transmission gear selections for optimal fuel economy. As we get into V2V, vehicle-to-vehicle communication, or vehicle-to-infrastructure, V2I, we want to make sure that we're staying on, on top of that because that's an important piece of where the vehicle will eventually evolve to. Linking them into a network just like they're linked into their network from their home or for their office, it's really almost unimaginable where it could go because you can see you know, a world without vehicle accidents. Imagine the difference uh, that would make in terms of our industry and our productivity and just uh, the benefit for society. I think we're just beginning to see uh, a lot of autonomy come to cars, from self-parking to uh, lane departure uh, warnings. Well, one of these days, you know, uh, we'll be driving around in cars while we're taking a nap. It is about giving the consumer a lot of choice on that commute, um, enhancing their safety, really providing them choice in entertainment or productivity or connectivity. Vehicles are going to have to become more aware of their surroundings. We're going to need more sensors and we're going to have to be able to integrate all those sensors into a, a very cohesive picture of not only the road conditions, but of the signage, what may be coming at the upcoming intersection, where's the stoplights. The kind of transformation that's happened to cell phones, going from just a phone with 10 numbers on it and a send and an end, all the way to what's out there now with smartphones, that same transformation is coming in the vehicle. At one time, I thought I would uh, retire with a technology that actually has already occurred. So I'm already beyond my retirement point and now I'm just having fun. <laughs>